So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here again and today I'd like to talk a little bit about microsco uh, microscopy safety. Here we go. Um, basically about uh, the when you're dealing with bacteria, for example, or other infectious material. Well, what do you actually do with the slides um, that basically got contaminated? So what I'd like to do is I'd like to start out by reading off uh, a question from one of my viewers and then I'd like uh, to give you my view on this issue. Hi Oliver, greetings from Buenos Aires. I started microscopy a few months ago after watching your very informative videos. I like the content of your channel a lot. It would be great uh, if you could explain how to take basic care with the manipulation and the cleaning of slides with samples full of bacteria and potentially harmful stuff. I'm a little concerned about that issue. Thank you and keep the good stuff coming. Well, first of all, thank you very much uh, for your question. Um, I think it's an important question. I'm glad that you asked. Uh, the short answer is, is you don't. <laughs> Basically, you don't clean the slides. You have to dispose of them. Um, and in a laboratory setting at university, for example, there are separate containers where those slides and other infectious material is collected. And then um, all of this material is autoclaved. This means that it is heated up uh, to a very high temperature of around 130 degrees centigrade under pressure. And uh, then it can be disposed of because at that temperature, the bacteria and other infectious material, well, they basically die, die, die off. Uh, now, we don't uh, usually do that in an amateur um, home setting. Um, and uh, therefore, I would probably recommend that you should not even be uh, yeah, dealing with uh, highly infectious or po potentially infectious material. Um, so, for example, blood samples, unless they're your own, uh, you should not be uh, yeah, dealing with or you should be extremely careful with. And also concerning bacteria, here we have to take a little bit into consideration the source of the bacteria and the concentration. Now, if you are actually growing bacteria on agar plates, on petri dishes, well, then I have to admit you should not do this unless there is a good reason. Um, because there, there you have uh, indeed the possibility that you're growing unknown bacteria, which can be potentially dangerous. As a matter of fact, you are then already in an elevated safety uh, and biohazard category. Um, growing unknown bacteria, therefore, is, is not something that you normally would want to do. Um, and, uh, the bacteria are at a very, very high concentration. And if you put some of those bacteria on a slide, um, yeah, you gotta be very aware. Um, even if you've got millions or even billions of bacteria on a slide and you're killing off 99.9% .9 of them, you still have millions left over. I mean, so you gotta be careful um, about that uh, because when we're dealing with extremely high numbers, uh, then, I don't know, if, you, if you're removing 99 or 99.9%, .9%, then there are still a lot of them left over. Um, so my advice is, is that you, yeah, you don't even go into that direction. You avoid the problem in the first place by not uh, cleaning the slide at all, but simply by disposing them. Because if you start cleaning them, you're going to start spreading the bacteria around even more. Um, and that's something that you don't want. Um, so it depends a little bit on, on, on the source of bacteria. If you, for example, are putting normal water samples um, under the microscope and there are a few bacteria around and the concentration is, of course, significantly less. Um, but if you're growing bacteria that are possibly even from from a human skin or so, then I'd be extra careful. So uh, I do have, uh, however, yeah, uh, also some other general um, issues. If you uh, want to disinfect surfaces, for example, because when you're in a micro, uh, in, for example, when I worked in a, mi a microbiology lab, we always used alcohol to disinfect uh, surfaces like tables to prevent contamination and then we used uh, alcohol of 70 percent um it's not 100 percent or not 96 percent uh, alcohol but 70 percent alcohol because that actually was able to kill the bacteria better than even higher uh, concentrated alcohol the reason being that the cell membrane uh, dissolves best at that uh, at that concentration um so 70 percent alcohol for disinfecting uh, surfaces um, but even if you dump your slides now into 70% alcohol, um, you have to be aware that you have to give it enough time for the alcohol actually also to reach all of the cells. But then you have the cells all floating around in the alcohol, uh, you know. Uh, so I, I would probably dispose of the slides. Uh, and uh, and autoclaving is also something that uh, is done in laboratories and that's basically a, a steam pressure cooker. Um, and because there is a high pressure, um, therefore the temperature can go up way beyond 100 degrees centigrade and therefore even bacterial spores are killed off at 130 degrees so for around half an hour at 130 degrees this will pretty much kill everything uh, but we also don't have that um, so but i do have another recommendation um, if you want to play it a little bit safe i've got some slides here um, if you're a little bit worried about uh, injuring yourself 
yeah, then uh, you should probably buy slides that uh, have ground corners. So you see, you no, know, you cannot see that quite well because uh, it's too far away. But here, the edges here um, are diagonally cut, so you they don't chip uh, so easily. Okay, um, and also the uh, sides here. They are basically yeah kind of smooth and they don't hurt you because they've been um yeah also I guess they used some kind of sandpaper or some something um, also to make this a little bit uh, the edges less less sharp and uh, those slides here yeah you can see that they're quite uh, yeah sharp and uh, there's the danger of uh, the slides chipping of course especially if you uh, stack several of them on top of each other and uh, this can cause injury so uh, therefore in some laboratory settings what they're doing is they're actually using those uh, slides that are a little bit safer okay uh, because after all if you injure injure yourself and there's some infectious material on the slide like blood for example then there's of course the risk of infection yeah but uh, yeah simply some 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 general advice um, so my advice would be um, try to avoid the problem in the first place <laughs> Um, and uh, if you have infectious material on the slide, uh, make sure that uh, in your lab you have some kind of a procedure procedure in place. Usually there are some some standards on how to dispose of uh, infectious materials. And usually what they will do is they, we, have a, we had, for example, a centralized department that was responsible for collecting all of those uh, yeah, trash containers and uh, treat it as a bio, biohazard waste. So they actually had to properly dispose of it. But in a home setting, when we're doing amateur microscopy, I would say probably, um, yeah, maybe look at things that are not so dangerous. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, in any case, I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time. Bye-bye.